Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of this season's ARG of Dark M77 and Red Dog. As always, this episode contains spoilers to Dark and Red's episodes, as well as a few other hermits, so if you don't want to get spoiled, make sure to watch their episodes first. In this episode, we're going to take a look into the sky of the world of Hermitcraft to get an idea of how the stars, or in this case the moon, is positioned relative to the Earth and a new ritual around the moon rock. It has been well over a month since the last video, and even though I promised some tutorials, there weren't any. This is because I switched to daily driving Linux, to be more precise, the Pop OS distribution or distro. This took me quite some time to set up, which I don't really have a lot of right now. Therefore, don't expect any changes to my upload plan anytime soon. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's start with the moon situation on Hermitcraft. As most of the hermits have pointed out in their videos, the moon has been getting bigger and bigger over the last few weeks. After the enlargement of the moon had been noticed, some hermits question the origin of its size. Most of them say that the moon is coming closer. As the moon got bigger, the now appearing earthquakes are getting more and more frequent, as if Hermitcraft was about to get destroyed. When watching Coralis' time lapse, you can see that an earthquake happens every 12 to 15 minutes. Doc, on the other hand, believes that the cause of Hermetric's vibrations is gravitational waves, as they can be felt in the sky too, so the Goatfather. Gravitational waves are an, in my opinion, spectacular phenomena that need a mass to accelerate and propagate as a wave in the opposite direction of their source mass at light speed. The theory was first proposed by Henri Poincaré and later approved by Albert Einstein. All in all, it is a mind-blowing concept. A few weeks later, the first piece of boon rock lands on the Hermitcraft planet, destroying the chicken coop that had been built by Randog in the early start of the season. The rock had crashed directly into the center of the building, destroying most of its structure. They find the rock in the middle of the small crater inside the house and decide to display it in Ren's most recent build of their city. After they put it in place, floating above some lit candles, Ren notices some mysterious noise coming from the moon rock. It becomes obvious that this is Morse code. Together with the name of the rock slash delete her matrix minus V8 dot SIMUL, this had become a new mystery. A SIMUL file doesn't exist, but the file ending consent for the world simulation, which had been an ongoing theme of this ARG. It is however very unlikely to be a simulation file, as those are used for troubleshooting systems. V8 is of course an 8-cylinder piston engine, but it's also an open source JavaScript engine by Google. V8 could also mean version 8, as in season 8. I tried to decode the Morse code by playing back the footage at 0.25 times the speed and taking notes of the length of the signal, but I wasn't able to get something that made sense. Luckily, some people on Discord managed to crack the code using professional tools. The Morse code repeatedly says, wake up. Her Matrix being a pun by combining Hermitcraft with Matrix and Matrix being a movie series, we can relate the meaning of the Morse code to Wake Up, a song made for the Matrix movie. More likely would it relate to the fact that a simulation existed and something or someone has to wake up and escape. After doing some research, I found out that many of the viewers think that the rock was triggered using a command. Doc made, as they call it, a mistake at one point during the video, as he goes to sleep, he shows his chat history and reveals an executed trigger function. A trigger command can set a scoreboard of the player who executes the command to a custom value which is determined by the user's input. A data pack can then read the value and execute other functions or commands. Doc executed the AS underscore trigger function. I recognize the name of that trigger function. It belongs to the Vanilla Tweaks Armor Status data pack and executes a function that applies all changes made to the armor stands set by the armor statues book around the player. As long as nobody modified the armor statues data pack on the Hermitcraft server, that is not the way it got triggered. Next up, we have to sort out the floating block situation. Ever since the earthquake or gravitational waves had been becoming more intense, single blocks all over the Hermitcraft server had randomly started to gain vertical motion towards the sky and after one or two seconds dropped down again. This looks like an oversimplified version of gravitational waves and can be related to the fact that the moon is getting closer to the earth and pulling blocks towards itself. The way this was realized is fairly easy. 
A data pack randomly chooses a block on the surface, reads its type and block state, summons a falling block entity at its exact position with the exact block type and state of the original block, deletes the block, gains motion along the y-axis in positive direction. This motion slowly decreases over time with the factor minus 9.81 as G on Earth is 9.81 meters per second and gains motion towards the negative direction of the y-axis, eventually falling back to the ground. If all this made no sense to you, don't worry, it is a complex thing and requires some deeper knowledge of how entities and in this case the falling block entity works by also respecting real life laws of physics such as gravity. After asking the hermits on the Hermitcraft Discord server if they had seen floating blocks lately, their response were for Doc to go to sleep. He then meets up with Kopfan and they observe a bunch of floating blocks. The fact that nobody noticed any floating blocks before could mean that they only happen around Doc and possibly Red. This would of course lead to, f to the fact that it is definitely related to the Hermatrix if that hadn't been confirmed before already. The last and very important thing Doc does in this episode is to walk into one of Ren's rituals around the moon rock. Doc hears Ren whispering and not responding to him and after he stands right next to the moon rock, Ren turns his head towards him and tells Doc that the rock was speaking. Doc found this weird and unrealistic and walks straight towards the rock until he hears it too. The rock says something similar to, I must have them, can't wait longer. And Ren adds that her matrix Okta has spoken. All of a sudden his screen freezes and is fixed to the moon rock until it starts glowing. Doc had turned into some sort of wizard just like Ren had and they both immediately know that they need Mumbo's head to be the first of her matrix Okta's head collection. But I'm afraid to say that that's it for this recap. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and of course leave a comment. See you until next time. Bye bye.